Hello and welcome to the ANOVA R tutorial. We are going to use the shock data set. There are three variables in the data set, ID, type of shock, and blood pressure. The ID variable is the patient ID and the type of shock is labeled as either none, hypovelmic, bacterial, or neurogenic. Our goal for today is to do a NOVA analysis and see if blood pressure means vary significantly by shock group. Before we do our analysis, it is always a good idea to visually inspect our data. Since we are going to be doing a NOVA analysis, the best graph to use would be a box plot, grouping our variables by shock type. To do this, go to graphs, box plot. We will choose our variable B pressure and then click plot by groups and select shock type and click OK. We notice that there is some difference between the centers of each one of these groups and so we will proceed with ANOVA and see if there is any significant differences. To do ANOVA, we need to go to statistics, means, one-way ANOVA. This gives us some grouping variables and some response variables. Our grouping variable here will be shock type and our response variable here will be B pressure. This will compare the mean blood pressure levels across shock types. Here we will get two ANOVA outputs. The top one is the ANOVA table, as well as below the summary statistics for each of the different groups, which includes the mean, standard deviation, and sample size of the four different groups. On our ANOVA table we can find the F statistic, testing the null hypothesis that all means are the same against the alternative that at least one mean differs. Next to the F statistic, we will see the associated p-value, which turns out to be significant and gives us evidence to reject the null. If we do reject the null hypothesis, we know that at least one group differs, but the ANOVA test does not tell us which group or how many groups are different, so we will need to do a follow-up procedure. To do our follow-up procedure, we go to Statistics, Means, one-way ANOVA, and then we will check the box pairwise comparison of means and click OK. We will get a graph appearing that has the pairwise confidence intervals for all possible pairs for all of our groups. These confidence intervals are two sample confidence intervals for the difference in means. This will allow us to see which specific groups differ and those will be the confidence intervals that do not contain zero. Here we see that the different groups are hypovelmic versus none, bacterial versus none, and neurogenic versus none. We can also look at the output box, which gives us the numerical values for each one of these confidence intervals shown in the graph. We can use this graph to check whether the confidence intervals do or do not contain zero. As we can see, the same three confidence intervals do not contain zero when we look at the output table versus the image picture. This concludes our ANOVA R tutorial. And